National Book Month held every October, the month-long celebration focusing on the importance of reading, writing, and literature. So here to share some must-reads for fall is Lee Newman, Books Director at Oprah Daily. Good morning. Good morning. We got a lot of really good ones, yes. so let's get to it. We'll, we'll start here. Okay, fall is like huge book month. That okay. is the time totally. that yes. a lot of the big, big, big books come out. And, oh, okay. Um, one of the biggest is Absolution, which is a novel about Vietnam. And, but it's not a war novel. It's okay. a novel about the women who were kind of trapped in Saigon and not sort of realizing um, how violent and mm. okay. scary the war was. And you sort of get bewitched by their own privilege wow. and start to, it's a really interesting book in the sense that it gives a whole new perspective when you never learned in high school about right. what Vietnam was and how people understood it. Wow. It's totally beautiful. Okay, I love a that. Spending 60 book. years, right? Yeah. Uh, next book is really uh, a collection of stories. Yeah, I love these because you can read one at night yeah. and go to sleep. Yes, uh, I like that and too. And I feel like I did something, right? And um, Jamel Brinkley um, lives in Brooklyn, and and it's different stories throughout Brooklyn. Oh, so New he Yorker. has all these things like the pumpkins on the stoop, and he has, mm. you know, what's going on with gentrification in Bed Stuy, and a townhouse on oh. Union Street. It's just it's wonderful for per local reading. Yeah, perfect, perfect for okay. New Yorkers. And okay. this one is the Oprah Book Club pick. Mm -hmm. I know, and we just announced it this week, and I couldn't be more excited. It's by Jasmine Ward. She's won the National Book Award two times. She's the only person um, of color who has won it twice. Wow. And That's she's, huge. she is an amazing writer. And this book is about slavery. It's about a young woman who is um, sold by her owner or her, you know, the owner of the plantation and mm -hmm. has to walk down to New Orleans okay. mm. um, to be sold in a slave market. But oddly, it's a dark book, but it becomes incredibly hopeful mm. oh, because it's all that. about how African traditions were passed down from yeah. Africa despite the horrors of slavery. Mm -hmm. And um, and I will say there's an uplifting turn at the end that oh, that really it makes the book a wonderful read and it's so quick to read. Okay, okay second, okay. this is the second novel from Jessica Knoll, right? Right, and this one has been getting a lot of attention because it's half thriller, half true crime, oh. and half novel. It's unbelievably readable. It's all about Ted Bundy. Okay. She never Ooh, names him. Yeah. She shows the perspective of the young women that he traumatized. And they are smart, and they are brilliant, mm -hmm. and they are phenomenal to read about. It sort of changes your whole perspective about when we think about serial killers, we just think about the killer. We right. don't yep. think about all the amazing people that whose lives he affected. Yes. Mm. And it is compulsively readable. Wow, like, I okay. read 250 pages in about Can't put an it hour down. and a half. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I was like, oh, what happens? Yeah. Yeah. And this uh, next book questions everything we thought we knew about achieving success. I know. I know. Um, this book, like, challenges. The idea, Hidden Potential by Adam Grant, talks all about how we think that we have to be born with talent. Mm -hmm. But he really talks about how that's a fallacy. Okay. Actually, most really successful, talented people were not even considered talented when they were children. Interesting. But they learned these skill sets of determination and hard work and mm -hmm. character building that caused them to thrive. And he breaks it down with real studies okay. so that you can use that at home. Right. And it's extremely easy to read. It's not like reading a study. Okay, okay good. And then this okay. is a first-time author, right? Super Bloom? Yeah. And the reason why I picked this is it's set in Vermont during the fall. Okay. And it's a rom-com. It's hilariously oh, funny. Oh, I love it. So it's like chick lit. Is yeah, what but it's it. like so, you know, I hate that. That word but <laughs> I go with it because yeah. you know what it's hilarious she's a depressed massage therapist okay. massaging these rich people and a famous romance writer hires her to do research right. and what she does is hilarious she's bitter and at the end she falls in love and makes all these friends and accepts Aww. her life and it's it's really wonderful it's a okay. great read and finally the comfort of crow yes this is a beautiful no I mean not novel it's an essay collection but each essay is only like three pages long okay it's written by Margaret Rankle who was um, who's a New York Times writer and it follows a backyard for 52 weeks during all the seasons so mm -hmm. obviously the fall parts are really really beautiful mm -hmm. and the reason why it's called the comfort of crows is that apparently folklore has it that the first bird you see at the first day of the year will be your lucky bird and will bring you luck. Oh, so we'll you're have supposed to, to see something yeah. right. You're supposed to see something beautiful, right? Like right. a bluebird or something. Not a crow. And she sees a crow. <laughs> oh, and she finds okay. all this magic in an everyday messy looking crow. Okay. And you know, if you this also got illustrations. So you can read just like two pages yeah. every couple of days and feel great about like the that. changes of nature. I love okay. that. Perfect. Yeah. I like the fall big time. Grab that blanket, grab a book, cozy up. Yeah. Right? Take with that read. pumpkin spice? With that pumpkin spice latte. Lee, thank you so much thank for sharing you. these books with us. And you can find more about these picks, plus a whole lot more online at OprahDaily.com. So go check it out. Very good. Okay.